What is going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Moto Vlog and welcome back to another beautiful day here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today I just want to go on a quick little ride. I have a bit of a proposal to make for you guys. Or to you guys. To you guys? For you guys? One of the two. We'll get to that here in a minute. I am gonna ride by Costco really quick, see if the gas lines are super busy. I have two bars left, but I would rather not, rather not run out. Cool Bronco, cool color. It's the one nice thing about riding a motorcycle, especially over speed bumps, is that you can just stand up and use your legs as extra shock absorbers. Just let kind of glide right over. Oh, Rolls Royce. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not waiting in that on a bike. Cool car. See this speed limit sign here says 40 miles an hour, but there's a school zone and the speed limit is 25. I got a speeding ticket the other week, uh, two weeks ago, for going 37 miles an hour. Never in my life have I gotten a speed or a speeding ticket for going 37 miles an hour. And it was literally right here. There's a camera because school was in session. But it kind of creeps up on you as you go over this hill. See, right here. It is windy today. But anyways, guys, getting back to the proposal that I had for you. Um, there's two things that I really, I love in life. Well, obviously bikes, but burgers, yes, hamburgers, smash burgers, jalapenos on them, cheese, juicy Lucy's, regular big thick burger, bison burgers, beef burgers, turkey burgers. Long story short, I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to, uh, whoa, whoa. I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to do like burger and bike reviews. Cause there's a lot of great burger places around Atlanta. See, turning signal still on. I thought it'd be a cool, cool little thing to start off with burger and bike reviews. Uh, if you guys would like to see that, let me know. We can make it happen. I'd be more than happy to make it happen, actually. Inman Drive. Full stop. Anyways, this is probably the curviest road that I know of, at least, inside of Brookhaven. They're, see, curvy. Pretty, pretty tight little turns. I'm only going 20 miles an hour here. But it kind of teaches you just to like lean into the bike to steer with your body instead of steer like trying to turn the handlebars. And especially as you get to bigger and bigger bikes, you gotta learn to do that a little bit more. It's really potholy. Whoa. It's just a little neighborhood. I love coming back here. I think I've probably driven along this road a couple hundred times. See, I tried to go into third gear there and I was lugging the engine. Cute little home. Um, and it pretty much follows the edge of Silver Lake, which you can, I don't know, can you guys see it down there? You probably can see it. If you can't see it right there, you'll be able to see it up here. I should have put some tunes on before I started riding. Whoa, there's also a little bit of gravel. It's also a fairly skinny road for two big size cars. I drive a, a fairly large size truck normally and you gotta kind of pull over. Lots of little gravel, be careful, careful, careful. Looks like a tree fell. I don't know, my brakes are squeaking for some reason. Left or right, left or right. Okay, we'll go right. Just a random bicycle, cool. Big pothole.
but see what I mean? Like there's so many little curves and ups and downs and places where you need to be, not necessarily when you're on a larger bike, but be in, a, be in the right gear when you're not. Kind of lug the engine, go this way. See, this is a beautiful house, but it's really tucked back in here. And I would not, like, think about it this way. I mean, it's fun to ride on right now, but imagine if you had to drive along this road just to go to like pop out to Publix or something like that. Hairpin turn, like down there. See, you really like, you kind of get into like leaning the bike and using your, making sure that you're using your rear brake and can kind of learn how your brake or your bike does and like letting on and off the throttle. That's a horrible place to park. Imagine somebody just comes flying around this corner. I guess everybody has to do it along here. See, we're coming down to the lake here. There's actually a trail. Um, Silver Lake Trail, Phoebe Trail, something like that that goes down there and just kind of follows the lake as well. See guys, I'm still in second gear this entire time. like bottom 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 of second gear 15 miles an hour this is probably one of my favorite roads to ride on in Atlanta and it pretty much just spits you out right here on Woodrow Way we'll kind of go back down that way in just a second but that's pretty much all I had to say guys I'd love to uh, know your thoughts on burgers and bikes get some just get it and go, just as fast as you want. You just go. What is this? Jacked up truck? Ram. Is that a TRX? That's a TRX. closed. All right, we'll go down a little ways down P Street. Not trying to go to Buckhead today. Nope, 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 nope. Not about that life. there's nothing quite like riding a bike maybe that's what i think about the entire time I'm like change gear change gear rev let the clutch out should i break with my foot should i break with my hand keep going keep going i look a lot at like what other people are doing on the bike too like i feel like when i'm driving the truck around i'm just i listen to music and that sort of thing but when i'm on the bike i am like hyper aware of what other people are doing. And honestly, like a good tip that I've um, started doing is I'll just, I just look at like what the front tires of the cars around me are doing. Cause that's a pretty good indication of what they're about to do. Like a lot of times you can, a lot of times you can um, see what a car is about to do by their front tires even before the car actually really starts to move in that direction. Hummer HV. I've been seeing a bunch of those around Atlanta. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Is it my turn? Can I go? Full stop? I guess I'll stop for him. Oh, it's yellow. You stopping, sir? Yeah, you're stopping. Man, that would suck. Would not want to be pedaling up here.
So yeah, anyways, big question, like what do people talk about on motovlogs? And then also like, how do you end them? Because when I begin them, I'm like, what is going on my friends? And I'd love to make some motorcycle friends just by the way. So if you want to ride with me and you're in an area, definitely let me know. But what is going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Moto Vlog. My name is Evan and I am ecstatic to be here with you guys today. Well, not really here because I'm by myself, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I feel like when I'm riding, maybe my brain's just ADHD, like more than normal. Um, but yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. That's all I got to say about that. Full stop, okay. Can we do it? Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'd like to see if I can come to a full stop with uh, without putting my feet down. Lots of dogs, doggy dogs. Oh, y'all are like twin dogs. Anyways, a long story short, or I guess long story long, because like pretty much all of my stories are long. I very rarely have short stories. See, that just never gets old. Um, uh, long story short, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more content like this, please let me know. And if you'd like, oh, if you'd like to see the, uh, the, the burgers and bikes, also let me know. But, that's all folks. See y'all next time.